post office will no longer deliver vaping supplies because you have to have a signature to prove that you're over 18. Uh, and understandably, the post office doesn't want to have their people you know, standing on the doorstep having conversations with customers and getting their signature. Uh, so you can no longer buy uh, vape stuff and cannabis and other things that require signatures um, available through the post office. Clearly, if we're still allowing people to buy tobacco, we should allow them to buy vape supplies. Uh, and they should be in the same category as pharmacies or whatever. They're, they're basically providing medical stuff. Uh, and so far, from what I know, uh, Ricardo Peloso managed to get this passed in um, in Italy and in France and in Greece. Uh, and there was a tweet from Martin Dockfall, who is the tobacco control lead for Public Health England, applauding this and saying that Britain needs to go the same way if Britain gets to this level of lockdown. Uh, and certainly Canada needs to do the same thing. And so I've been writing to health ministers and uh, various other people who have maybe some influence in this, saying you know, that if we get to a stage where only essential services are allowed to remain open, uh, then vape shops should be counted amongst those essential services. For smokers that have quit and are now vaping, vape shops are an essential service, right? Vaping is medicine for these people. Uh, and if they don't get access to their vaping supplies, then many of them are either going to have to find illegal backstreet vaping supplies, which gets us back to the Holy Valley stuff, um, or they're going to go back to cigarette smoking. So during this crisis, nobody is talking about closing down all the tobacconist shops, all the convenience stores, all the gas stations, all the places that sell cigarettes. Right? So without question, cigarettes are going to be available during COVID and people are going to be able to buy cigarettes. If people are going to be able to buy cigarettes, then people who have quit and are going over to vaping should be able to buy their vaping supplies. Uh, and the Canadian Vaping Association reckons that there are about a million vapors in Canada uh, who are reliant on adult-only specialty vape stores to get their vaping equipment.